Facial feminization is a surgery that's growing significantly in popularity. So when we're talking about trying to do facial feminization surgery, there's, uh, if we start at the forehead, there's a couple of things that I would like to accomplish. And one of the things is changing the shape of the hairline. So you got the M shape for the males, um, and what we would want to do to feminize that is to change it to a more rounded shape. The other thing that we want to do is because the male forehead is a, is a bit longer than the female forehead in the non-hair bearing region, we want to drop that, that amount. So decrease the amount of non-hair bearing forehead there is. And of course the brow bones. Um, that is probably one of the most dramatic changes that you could get when we're doing facial feminization surgery. So the next region is the cheeks. So the cheeks. Um, that's probably where I do the least um, in terms of the bony work. Most times I'm doing a little fat grafting to the temples and the cheeks. Um, every once in a while, if the cheekbones are too wide, what I do is actually shave down the cheekbones or actually reposition them. The next section is the lower jaw. Uh, for the lower jaw, it's almost all bony. So we take off the angles here, actually saw it off. <laughs> and then here, we actually cut the chin decrease the width and drop it to wherever it needs to be. Sometimes back a little bit, sometimes forward a little bit. We do it all at once um, for a number of reasons, um, one of which is it's really hard to get it through insurance still. It's better, but it's still pretty hard. And then secondly, most patients want to have multiple things done all at once rather than to space it out over multiple surgeries and multiple anesthetics. Most patients are in the hospital for overnight. Some are there for two days, and then they go home and then kind of go about their you know, usual life probably in about two to three weeks. They do something, anything more sort of active than that than maybe like a whole month before they really kind of get back to things.